Okay, now this week's vlog is slightly more nerdy than most. I'm gonna be getting into the nitty gritty of official assessment tasks and exams and take you behind the scenes of creating them. So if you've ever wondered how exams, coursework and official assessments are actually put together, then this week's vlog is for you. Now, I've recently been through the Curriculum Authority training course for assessments and it was pretty full on. <laughs> more detailed and more rigorous than I was expecting, which is a good thing and meant it was super interesting, to me at least, as someone who totally geeks out on all things exams and assessment. And I thought I'd share some of the key points with you. Now, I started off planning in this video to go over this in just one video, but as I started to go through things, even with plenty of summarizing and simplifying, it started to get stupidly long and maybe a bit tough to digest. So I'm gonna record three videos right now for each of the three assessment attributes and I'll release each one over three weeks as vlogs so that I can kind of keep to my usual three minutes or so on the vlog front. Now, after many hours of study and discussion with other teachers and examiners and curriculum representatives, here is the foundation for every formal assessment in every state in Australia. That foundation is the three attributes to creating an assessment piece, whether this is an internal formal assessment, for example, an assignment or task that's set in school, but that counts towards the teacher assessment component for students, or whether it's external, for example, the final exams that are set and marked by the exam board. Now, these three attributes are validity, accessibility, and reliability. And these are what teachers and the writers of exam papers for exam boards and as assessment moderators and verifiers are all working to. And in this video, I'm gonna explain the concept of that first attribute, validity. Now, a valid task or exam question means that it accurately measures what it's intended to measure or test in terms of subject content and the syllabus dot points it's covering. So this is where subject knowledge and an excellent understanding of the concepts and case studies and content of their course is required by your team. Now, if you've heard me use of the formula or tell you about the formula, knowledge plus application equals success, then you'll realize that this fits into that knowledge part. And if you haven't heard me explain that formula before, then you definitely need to come along to a future webinar with me when I run one next time, which might not be for a few months or won't be for a few months now, but keep an eye out in the future. Therefore, here's what I advise all students to do when studying and in particular revising for exams. Don't just go through lesson notes, but actually go to the official syllabus. And if your team's a member of the Great Transformation Zone, they have direct links in there to the syllabus documents for their particular state and their particular specific exam board and then plan their notes and their revision around the syllabus because the teachers or examiners can test students on anything from within the syllabus. And different schools and teachers may put different emphasis or spend different amounts of time on different aspects of that syllabus depending on, for example, the structure of lessons or timetables or the time available to cover everything within a certain term. For example, I actually remember years ago on a GCSE geography paper back in the UK, there was a three mark question given early in the paper that really expanded on something that we'd generally teach as a simple introductory, like two minute kind of fact. <laughs> and yes, it caught out quite a few students, unfortunately. So I don't want that to happen for your team. So quick recap, validity is one of the three essential attributes of any formal assessment. And this means it is clearly tied to the syllabus content and accurately measures that skill or knowledge. And therefore, my advice for all students is to use the official syllabus dot points, not just their notes or a term handout or planner for their study notes and revision. I'm Katie Price, great transformation expert. Be sure to look out next Sunday and the one after that for attributes two and three and how they apply to your team and my advice on what actions they can take to make sure they are best prepared for any formal or official assessment. Until then, let's make this a fantastic week.